Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Art of the Cart. And guess what? I did it. I think for one of the very first times, I am doing a smart art box in the very month that you get this smart art box. This is officially January smart art box, and it's January 20th. I'm so proud of myself. Generally, the smart art box gives me something that challenges me, usually is a new art medium that I have never tried before. But as you are probably observing as I unbox this box, I know a little bit about this medium. I'm, I'm not saying I'm the best color pencilist at all, not, not even close, but I do play around with color pencils a lot. I really, really enjoy them. So the fact that I got a pack of colored pencils, this amazing sketchbook, a pencil sharpener, a blending tool, and an erasing pencil, I have to tell you, I am still really excited. It's something that I'm familiar with, that I know how to use, and I'm excited to see what these pencils can do. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. First, I want to give a big thanks to the Smart Art Box Company for sponsoring yet another video here on my channel. It helps me to continue creating awesome content for you guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the Smart Art Box, I will leave a link to their website where you can get more information about their monthly subscription boxes. They are fabtabulous. Is that a word? It is a word now. Fabtabulous is the word of the day. So while I am very familiar with using color pencils, I was trying to figure out what I could talk about during this video, because obviously, generally, my videos are about me experiencing this new medium for the first time. So I decided to go ahead and do a tips video. Now, I've done a couple of color pencil tip videos before, be reusing some of the older tips that I have and bringing in some newer tips as well. So for my very first tip, it's lighten your pencil marks before you begin adding color. Now this goes into play if you use a graphite pencil to sketch in your design. The reason you're gonna want to lighten it, the graphic pencil is because as you lay in your color pencils over top of it, it's going to pull that lead together. It's gonna to muddy up your color. So I use a gummy eraser and just lighten it up to where I think of it as the ghosting phase, where I can just barely see my pencil sketches underneath. Tip number two is to watch your pressure. And again, this is one I've talked about in multiple videos. As you work with color pencils, you only have a certain amount of wear and tear that your pencils can put on your paper. Your paper's lumpy bumpiness is called a tooth. And as you begin to apply color pencils down onto that tooth, it smooths it out more and more until it's really smooth. And once the tooth is gone, it's really hard to layer your color pencils on top of each other. Tip number three, use a very sharp color pencil. This will help you to get those really nice soft lines. You're not really having to push your pencil so hard to get the color onto the paper. Smart Art did send a pencil sharpener along with this kit, but I have an electric color pencil sharpener that I use for all my pencils, so I automatically just use that. Tip number four goes along with this kit. These are brand new pencils I've never used before, and so it's really good for you to know your color range of your pencils. Know how dark your pencils are going to be. Depending on what brand you use, you can get some really intense dark colors, while other brands are really light in their darkest tones. So know how far you can push your pencils before that's all they can give you. A smart extra bonus tip with this would probably be to make a color swatch of all of your colors, which I did not do for these ones. For tip number five is work your layers. When playing around with colored pencils, you can begin to blend and mix different colors, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but you're going to add those layers on there slowly, building up texture and depth into your picture. Um, so don't just think you have to use just brown and then yellow and this. You can blend those in or even darken in areas with different colors. So you can have a lighter shade of brown and darker shades of brown. Tip number six goes right along with that, and that's if you have a limited palette. This set only came with 12 different pencils, which can limit you. You have a brown, you have a red, you have two shades of blue, a purple, two shades of green. But really, if you layer and mix your colors together, you get a whole bunch of colors. So this is where playing around with your colors, doing color swatches, and mixing those colors on a separate sheet of paper can really benefit you because you're gonna know the wide variety of gradients and saturations that you can have. Tip number seven is push your contrast. Not every artist has a hard time with this, but that's something where I struggle. I tend to keep everything just 
middle ground, not too light, not too dark. For me, I'm always having to remind myself to push that darkness level in there, to not be afraid to dig that color in. Tip number eight, small details are important. When you're working, even on a large piece, look for those small, tiny little details. They can really help make your drawing interesting. So for this drawing, I focus on the tiny little vein details in the rabbit's ears. As light shines from the back side of the ears forward, it kind of makes the ears slightly translucent. So you'd really see those kind of popping out. Tip number nine is to take your time. Working with color pencils is not a fast medium. This was a small picture and it took me several hours to do this. For my last and final tip is a term called burnishing and burnishing is to really push in your colors. Now with the smart art box, they gave me a blending tool, which helps you to blend your colors together. It helps you to get rid of those kind of light specks in the paper. And that's a really cool effect, but an effect you want to make sure that you wait till you're completely done. Once you burnish your color, it is really hard to go back and add color on top. This was a fun challenge. Even though working with colored pencils is something that I do a lot with, this was still a fun box to get. And as some of you know, I really love sketchbooks, so I'm really happy about this brand new sketchbook. And I have a nice little travel size set of colored pencils that I can take with me when I'm on the road or traveling places. I don't have to pack my big set. Now I just have to think about what other things I can fill inside this sketchbook. So if you have any suggestions, you can definitely leave them in the comment section below and make sure to check out Smart Art Box to find out how you can get your own subscription box. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.